Hi guys, it's Sam, and I thought I would do a really quick get it ready with me because I only have a few minutes. It's Easter Sunday, so happy Easter to those of you that celebrate, and to those of you that don't, I hope you have a great Sunday. I did apply my foundation, or I'm in the middle of applying my foundation when I was like, let me film. So I'm using the CoverGirl Atlas 3-in-1 um, foundation. It's the color 832, and I don't know if you could tell, but I am... Um, um, I don't want to say almost done with it because I know I have a lot more to go, but it's it's getting there, and I am I want to try to finish that up because I have a darker color for the summer. I'm using my beauty blender, which I'm kind of embarrassed to show you, but it looks like this, and I just don't have the heart to get rid of it because it works. It still works pretty well, and I guess I'll just stop using it when it's not performing the same way, and. I mean, there's going to be a point where it's like too much like uh, like cracking and just indents and stuff. It's not going to apply right, but I'm still... And I the thing is, I have other ones, but I just love it so much that I want to use it until the very end. And I definitely got my money's worth out of this beauty blender because I've used it for so long. And I've taken care of it pretty well. I have to pat myself on the back because I'm normally... I'm too lazy or like I just don't feel like washing it every time but I have um uh, maybe once or twice I haven't um but I haven't used it uh like this past weekend I didn't wash it from Friday but I haven't used it either so um don't use a dirty beauty blender on your skin that's just asking for trouble and I did apply so I applied my CeraVe or is it CeraVe? CeraVe uh, lotion and then I applied the Maybelline Master Prime Studio which I have started to like before I was just like eh, it's okay I'm just trying to use it up but it's a pretty good uh, primer and then I do spray this Tony Moly it's almost done I could barely get any out of it where it's like sporadically placing like lumps of uh, whatever is in there <laughs> okay so I did that I'm gonna apply a little bit of Mac Studio uh, Studio Finish Concealer, and I would do this with, um, my brush of choice actually is this one by, uh, Up and Up, it's, you get it at Target, and it, actually, let me just show you. So I just put that in there, and then it's so, it's so dense that it actually works really well for applying this type of concealer. And I do use this brush for foundation, but it's really, really dense that it's kind of hard to move. Unless you're stippling a creamy product like this, it's kind of hard to blend out. And this is just going to be a really quick, I think I mentioned that, a really quick makeup look. Uh, what else do I want to apply? Powder. And um, these products you're going to be saying and you've seen these a million times but I am still working on finishing this up this is the makeup forever dual matte uh, powder foundation and it's too dark I think this is 207 but it's way too dark but I am applying it with the this is the makeup forever brush but I thought it said it uh, I love this uh, I think similar is the elf one but this one it just it came in like this this set of makeup forever stuff that they they still sell but they up the price and I just put it all over. Make sure to blend out because it is much darker than I am now. Okay, and I'm going to skip the contouring. I'm going to apply this B Matte Blush because I want to try it out. And this one is in Dragon Fruit. Best way to show you. It's appearing much lighter obviously on camera but oh that was a lot okay and it doesn't look like a lot on camera but it's pretty baby pink okay and then for my eyes I don't really feel like doing anything but I guess I should um I think I'm going to apply this L'Oreal and it's I feel like it works best with your fingers if you want the most color payoff it's so creamy it's in the color violet beauty or violet beauté
It's really, really nice. I love it. I, if I didn't have so many eyeshadows, I would probably buy it. And that's, you know, my mindset is changing a little bit. Um, whereas I would have just gotten every single color of these and just let them collect dust. But I'm going to enjoy this color. And we'll see if I end up getting any more. Because before I would have just gotten every single one. And I just did a huge, which I didn't film, but just because I did it before. I decluttered my dresser right there. Um, I would I wasn't able to close the drawers or anything. It was just a hot, huge mess, and I just took everything out. And the things that I know that fit me, I put back in the drawers that I like. And the things that I know don't fit, I brought all the clothes um, and underwear. Not underwear, sorry, bras and stuff like that. I well, the bras I have up here that I'm gonna try on. Um, a few a day because I had a lot of bras um, but the pants, shirts, blouses uh, things like that, sportswear I brought downstairs and if I go down and get them that means I want them but if they're not touched in like 3 months I think it's time to let it go because it's just a part of it is kind of like you're torturing yourself a little bit or punishing yourself when you have clothes that aren't don't fit you and then when you go and try them on it's like makes you depressed a little bit so I have you know I didn't do that for everything but I did do that for um the dresser right there in my clothes closet in here um, which is this tiny closet and I just had too much stuff so it felt really good just to go through my drawers and I was more brutal than like the last time of course I did not give them away yet but I think I am going to end up giving maybe 75% of it away. It was a huge, huge mountain of clothes. And I gave a lot to my mom. Um, just things that were just way too tiny for me that did not fit me, but I kept around for I don't know what reason. Because I, obviously I can't part with these things. I have a problem with letting go. Um, okay, so that part of Samantha's video, um, a look into my mind, is over. And let's get back to the makeup. So this, oh, I dropped the brush that I want to use. This is the Hourglass uh, Ambient Lighting Palette. I'm going to take the one in the middle, which is Incandescent Light. I'm just going to put that over um, my cheekbones and then down my nose. And then I go kind of blend it out. But I still, I like it, but it's not, I'm, I just can't figure out the magic of it, but I do like it, but it's just like, is would I get it again and I wouldn't get it again okay uh, so now that all my powder stuff is on I like to go in with the setting spray and I'm working on the elf one which you guys know is my is my favorite one and I have opened up a bunch that I need to go through so this is just um, the one that I'm finishing up now not the elf I have a like I have the Maybelline master fix I have the wet and wild I have the NYX uh, matte finish <laughs> NYX matte finish spray, the Fab Beauty one, and I do have another e.l.f. one, and then the Pixie, Pixie one. So I have a lot to go through. At one point I had none, and now I have so many. I think that's how sometimes it works out. And I just feel like it takes away the powderiness and sets my makeup. Um, I have to say I don't know if it makes my makeup last all day because it doesn't work on certain foundations but um, I like the way it feels and it does take away the powderiness okay and then the last thing I'll do is mascara and I have come to find um, over time that I like this mascara uh, I wasn't blown away by it like some other people but I mean each you know everybody has their own mascara preferences and this one I've grown to like I don't love it but I've grown to like it And I'm using the Sonia Kashuk Eyelash Curler, which is amazing. I love it. It's it's my favorite eyelash curler. I think it's so good. Now, the problem with this, I find, is I don't know if it's the way that it's shaped or maybe it's the way I'm holding it. Maybe it's my fault. fault. But it always I always mess up right here. It gets mascara from the wand right there. Ugh. And, you know, I do mascara as the last thing that in my makeup besides lipstick in my makeup routine. And, oh, it's so annoying. 
and I'm still my eyelashes have diminished in the past couple of years to about nothing um, especially this eye the corner you can tell from like how much length and volume is here to this corner there's like little stubbies so um, I don't know what's going on I think a part of it I'm gonna self-diagnose me right now I think part of it is stress like it's just falling out maybe I don't know I'm you know I'm really lucky in my life and I don't know why I'm stressing over little things like even something like picking up vacation stresses me out which is like should be a fun thing but I don't know it just stresses me out a little bit and most of the time I will not go with lipstick so I know some of you are like, you gotta put lipstick on to finish your look. You know what I think I'm gonna do for, in the first time in a while, is put on this Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. This one is in the number one. And it just gives a very faint color. Just to give it a little bit of shine. Oh boy. Do you see what I just did there? <sighs> oh wow. I'm gonna fix that up and go outside my room where company is waiting actually there's no company um it's just gonna be like my immediate family which there's only five of us so very small get together okay that is it i'm wearing i thought i would wear um something bright for spring and i thought i would match it with this kimono that i haven't worn in forever i think the last time i wore a kimono was probably last summer and fall so i thought it was time to bring it back out and i thought it matched really well um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this really quick makeup tutorial i it's not a makeup tutorial uh this really quick get ready with me i hope you guys are all doing well and enjoying spring i know my allergies are um this was a really bad weekend for pollen it was very very high so i kind of when it's so high um, I kind of like to just stay inside my room just because it's just, you know, that's where I feel the better and I take Benadryl and Zyrtec and stuff, but most of the time I just feel tired anyway from taking that. So, um, I just relaxed and that's not a bad thing, but I can't wait until all the flowers bloom and I mean it's beautiful but I can't enjoy it really that much um so I, I can't wait till all, that's all settled and then I can really start going back outside I mean I go outside but it's just you know I'll be sneezing and my nose itches and my eyes itch which um stinks so uh yeah I hope you guys are still enjoying spring and I will talk to you soon bye